Hey everybody, welcome back. Mike from Spectre Comics. Today I'm going to continue with my October Month of Scares series by drawing Victor from The Corpse Bride. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know I'm a huge Tim Burton fan. And while you watch me speed draw Victor in the background, I wanted to talk about the movie The Corpse Bride. Now when I first saw this movie way back in 2005, I watched it, I thought it was good, but it didn't really grab me and definitely didn't grab me the way The Nightmare Before Christmas did. I just felt the characters weren't as memorable, the songs weren't as good, and the movie wasn't as good as The Nightmare Before Christmas. But because I was doing this video, I recently rewatched it, actually just a couple of nights ago, and I actually really enjoyed it. And so I might have underrated the movie a bit. So I may have to go back and actually add The Corpse Bride to my fall rotation of movies that I watch with Sleepy Hollow and The Nightmare Before Christmas, movies that I tend to watch every year right around this time. Now, one thing I like about Tim Burton movies is that in whatever movie he's doing, he creates these stylized set pieces and they actually become a character in themselves because they add to the atmosphere and the environment that the movie's taking place in. It's definitely an important part of the story. Now, the movie is based on a 19th century Russian folk tale adapted into a story with two aristocratic families arranging a marriage between their son and their daughter, Victor, voiced by Johnny Depp, and Victoria, voiced by Emily Watson. Now, during the wedding rehearsal, Victor had trouble remembering his lines. He ended up dropping the ring, and then there was this unfortunate incident between his candle and his future mother-in-law's dress catching on fire. Victor ends up running out into the woods to get away from the situation. Now, as Victor walks into the woods, he starts practicing reciting his vows, still not able to get it right, but eventually, as he continues to wander through the forest, he eventually gets it perfectly, and to reenact the wedding ceremony, he takes the ring and he places it on a spindly branch that's sticking out of the ground to just reenact that part of the marriage. And at that moment, he unknowingly marries the corpse bride, who ascends from the ground and says, I do, and all of a sudden, Victor finds himself married to a corpse bride. So Victor spends the rest of the movie attempting to annul the marriage to the corpse bride, whose name is Emily, voiced by Helena Bottom Carter, and get back to Victoria. But he also feels bad for Emily and is trying to do this all without hurting her feelings. Now, Emily was a bride who was killed on her wedding night by the villain of the movie, who is Lord Barkus. Lord Barkus is this mysterious character who shows up at the rehearsal for Victor and Victoria, and he is this con artist who goes around marrying young women and then stealing their dowries. Now, while Victor is stuck in the underworld with Emily, Lord Barkus tries to horn in on his marriage to Victoria in order to steal what he thinks is her dowry in the marriage to Victor. However, what Lord Barkus doesn't realize is that Victoria's family has no money. Even though they're aristocrats, they actually are hoping to get married to Victor and his family in order to get money for that marriage. Now, The Corpse Bride, of course, is a stop motion animated movie. This is a very slow and difficult process to film a movie by. The puppets that they used for this movie are about 17 inches tall, can be configured into hundreds of different positions, can have their mouths and their eyes move to mimic speaking and blinking and stuff like that. And the sets that they're put on have a lot of trap doors so that the animators can kind of pop up through there and manipulate the, anything that's moving on the set and then close the trap door and then end up filming it one frame at a time. So again, you can see how painstakingly slow this process of animating would be. And if you make one mistake during, this, during the filming, you would have to start all over again with the scene. So you can see how it'd be very slow and frustrating, especially in the age of computer animation when you can just animate these characters to make it look like stop motion photography. So you gotta actually give credit to the creators of this movie and Tim Burton for doing this old type of stop motion animation. Now, most movies by Tim Burton are scored by Danny Elfman. He also scored this movie. So the music is very good and very high quality, does set the atmosphere for the movie. Uh, Danny Elfman actually plays a character, Bone Jangles, who's a one-eyed skeleton who sings that they run into in a nightclub in the underground once Victor gets pulled down into the underworld with Emily. Now, the movie released way back in 2005, right around the same time they were filming Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the other Tim Burton movie that released the same year. So Tim Burton and Johnny Depp were both working on both movies. They would film Charlie and the Chocolate Factory during the day, and then they would go and record the lines for Victor's dialogue at night. 
So for a period of time, he was kind of working on both movies simultaneously. Now, when The Corpse Bride did come out back in 2005, it actually was critically acclaimed and was a box office success. I didn't realize this because, like I said, when I first saw it, it didn't really stick with me. It definitely didn't grab me the way The Nightmare Before Christmas did. So I didn't actually know the movie was successful. It made a good amount of money. It got nominated for awards. So if you haven't seen the movie, I do recommend checking it out. Uh, I'm definitely going to add it to my rotation for Halloween movies to watch in the month of October. So let's talk about the actual Victor artwork that I'm drawing in the background. I'm using my Wacom Cintiq 13 HD drawing tablet. I'm using Photoshop Elements 2019 as my drawing program. This drawing took me about two and a half hours to complete, start to finish. I'm using a reference image still from the movie, and I started just by sketching the pose lightly in the background on a halftone sketch layer. Now, as my interpretation of the pose that I'm drawing is captured on the sketch layer, I'll move on to my final line layer which is 100% no opacity black lines. But my process for starting the final layer is similar to the way I do my sketch layer. I start out very sketchy, but I'm adding a little more detail. And as I add more detail into the drawing, I start cleaning up the line work as I go around the drawing. Now my personal drawing style is very crisp line work that uses line weights and tapers uh, to emphasize certain aspects of the drawing. And this is how I do it whether I color the drawing or I'm in full just black and white line work. Once I have completed my final line work and everything's cleaned up, I'll go ahead and I'll turn off my sketch layer and then I can start focusing in on coloring. Now once I start the process of coloring, I'll take my line work layer, my final line work layer, and I'll start creating a series of colored layers below it. Each color is gonna be on its own separate layer, and this is when I'm gonna start doing my flat work. Now the Corpse Bride movie is in color, but you'll notice that the color palette is very drab. There's a lot of cool grays, browns, dark blacks, whites. It, it almost looks like a black and white movie. And I'm gonna reflect that in my drawing of Victor here. So as I color him in, I'm gonna use a lot of cool grays, a lot of browns, and he's got black hair, and a lot of shades and shadows as I'm going to try to give the dark atmosphere of the movie to this character's drawing. Now after I lay down the flat colors, and again, each color on a different layer, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding shadows and highlights in. Each shadow, each highlight for every single color gets its own layer. I'm gonna use the magic wand tool to isolate areas and then advance to the next layer where I'll add in the shadows and the highlights individually. I usually like to use the paintbrush tool with a medium spread, whether I'm erasing or whether I'm actually coloring in. It gives a nice spread, it tapers the colors nicely so you get nice smooth shadows. And unless you're doing really dark, heavy shadows where there's a defined line shadow, I always use the brush layer during shadows and highlights. Now because the scene that I'm drawing actually has Victor in the moonlight, we're gonna see some highlights on his back and especially in his hair. Uh, there'll be some highlights on his face. The way I did the highlights in the hair is I just painted his hair completely black in the mask that it's, uh, the mass that it's kind of modeled at. I'm gonna use the eraser tool to actually erase individual strands of hair, and then I'm gonna taper those off by coloring back in with a little black paint towards the ends. So the center of the taper will have a really white uh, highlight area, and then it'll taper down to a dark point as it goes up or down. And you can see that in the hair. Uh, with the colors of the hair. Now because this movie is dark and atmospheric, I'm gonna create just a simple dark uh, cool gray background and then I'm gonna cast a shadow on it that looks like uh, a building and a window and just kind of put a half tone on that to keep it keep it very simple. Nothing too crazy with the background here. The, what I want to feature here is Victor himself, uh, not necessarily the background that he's standing in. And that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed talking about The Corpse Bride and I definitely recommend you watch this movie if you haven't seen it. And I recommend you rewatch it if you weren't too impressed the first time. You might be surprised at how good the story actually is. Also, my drawing of Victor in the background, go ahead and check out my Instagram at Space Misadventures. I'll be posting it there for you to take a closer look at. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment below on what your thoughts of the movie is. That is it for this video. We will see you next time. Have a great day.